there's this whole Trayvon Martin smear campaign, right? And they're trying really hard to paint him in a negative light. They're having this clown go out there and, and make these crazy, you know, comments about how goon and coon, they're both positive words, everyone needs to calm down. That's Joe Oliver. And that, that kind of shows you how pathetic this smear campaign is. When their spokesperson is someone like Joe Oliver, who makes no sense and just makes a fool out of himself time and time again. Here's another example of how they're making themselves out to be the most pathetic people on the planet. They've released this picture of someone whom they believe is uh, Trayvon Martin. Okay. okay. Uh, this kid holding up gang signs and he's not wearing a shirt. So this picture has been circulated as Trayvon Martin. They're saying that it's from his Facebook page and it shows you how much of a thug he is. Look at him throwing up his middle finger and he's a thug and he's a gangster and he's dangerous. Except one problem, that's not Trayvon Martin. Yeah, well, you know, you guys are making this racial. I, I don't know, we found another black kid and we put up his picture <laughs> and now you guys are complaining about that. I can't believe you injected race into this. Like what, what? I mean, aren't, aren't all black kids the same? One Trayvon Martin and another, who cares, right? And by the way, that kid didn't look dangerous either. Not only, that <laughs> okay. kid looked nothing like Trayvon Martin, right? And even if that was Trayvon Martin, you're absolutely right about that. Oh, so some kid took a ridiculous picture where he's putting his middle fingers he up. He looks so goofy. Like, <laughs> like, what looks dangerous about that kid? It's completely like, unrelated to the case. Even if it were Trayvon Martin, it doesn't matter. It's so irrelevant. That kid looks like every kid that I've ever gone swimming with when I was younger. You take your shirt off, and then kids are kids. Oh, middle finger. Oh, oh, oh. So what? Let so me make, what? Let okay. me make a quick point. When I was in 10th grade, so I was about 15, 16 years old, around Trayvon Martin's age, right? I went through a chola phase, right? And mm. you guys have all seen those pictures. I was desperately looking for them because I wanted to show them on the program to give, make this point, right? But I wore like dark lip liner, white lipstick. I had crunchy hair. I had like, you know, the drawn eyebrows. I'm not kidding. I was a full on chola. I was dating a gangster. But you know, in some parts of the country, chola is viewed positively <laughs> as a term of endearment. <laughs> And like I took like these photo maker pictures with my chola friends, which uh -huh. by the way, all of them went on to have great careers and all. <laughs> okay. And we're like, like you know, like crazy. <laughs> that doesn't look that bad. Like crazy, like gangster looking pictures. Oh right? please, okay, yeah. I am now, uh, you know, respectable member of society. Oh, so, are you? Okay, so, <laughs> I didn't know that either. So it's so irrelevant to take like a teenager's picture where they might be acting kind of foolish and say, see. Dangerous. Oh, come on, look, you know, there's the picture of me in the Run DMC shirt. There it is. Throwing up gang signs. You see that when I was a kid? I mean, it, it says raising hell. Doesn't that? How dangerous is that? And it's rappers, it's gang signs, and it, that's a hoodie. I'm, I've got a hoodie on as a teenager. Oh, that guy looks like the most dangerous guy in the world. Right. I mean, that's So I, obviously, right after that, if I was shot, they would have said, obviously, he had it coming. Okay, I mean, do you get how absurd this is? Now they've gone into the poor kid's Twitter account. And so he said some bad things on Twitter, right? He did, like about women, et cetera, et cetera. If he was running for office, I would say, hey, you know what? Uh, I don't think that's the right way to go. But he wasn't running for office. He was a 17-year-old kid. Now, do you know what I said and what almost everyone I know said about girls at the age of 17, okay? I don't want to get myself in trouble here by talking about it, okay? But that's what 17-year-old boys do, okay? He didn't know he was going to get shot and that his life was going to be, you know, scrutinized. And that they were going to go after every tweet and every picture and go, oh, did he deserve to get shot because of what he wrote on Twitter and what kind of picture he took.